Today's word is triage. Now, this is not an English word, obviously, it's been borrowed from French. That's why you have that last sound. Zh. Triage. When you say zh, you put your tongue, the tip of the tongue, behind that bump which is behind the teeth, the front teeth. That's called the ridge. So you place your tongue, the tip of your tongue, behind the alveolar ridge and say zh. It's the voice form of sh, which is sh. Triage. Stress on age. It means to sort things, to categorize things or even people for a particular specific follow-up action. The idea is to determine priority. So you sort them out and say, okay, this is priority number one, this is priority number two, and so on. This can be used as a noun, a verb, or an adjective. Let's look at this. Before I proceed, I just want to remind you that we regularly upload videos on improving English communication skills, including vocabulary building. So if you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel. Let's continue. First example. He starts his day with a triage of emails. It means he sorts his emails to decide which ones to take action on immediately. A triage of emails. What do you triage? Second one. As a verb. Since the bed in the city hospitals are limited and the number of patients is very large, the patients are triaged. Another related sentence. While rejecting patients is painful, the limited resources justify such triaging. Do you agree with this? Another example again. The patients are triaged at the hospital before being granted or refused admission. Now, as an adjective, triage procedures follow the concept of equity, that is to treat similar patients similarly. So, what's time management? It's actually, simply speaking, triaging the tasks. Do you triage anything? Tell me in the comments.